Hey, this is Chris Herrera coming to you from Palm Coast and this is Costa Gear Garage. Come on in, let me show you around my place. So I got a pretty spacious garage here. I built this house back in 2017. And originally the idea was to build a still at home being so close to the beach, but then I decided, you know what? Not that much more, let's just enclose it. And what I really love about this garage, the depth, 52 feet in deep. So that means when I come in from work after, you know, day charter, wash the boat, wash the truck, whatever I need to do out back, pull in, never have to detach. Just keep the boat connected and ready to go the next morning and just open the garage door and pull out. Love it. Uh, looking around here, I'm an inshore fishing guide here in Palm Coast, so mainly targeting redfish, trout, flounder, that sort of thing. Uh, do a lot of fly fishing with clients in the wintertime when the water's nice and clear and we can see the schools of redfish and do some sight fishing. So I hang up my fly rods here. This is just a few of I have. You know, as a fishing guide, we probably have all of us got closets full of rods. We just can't display them all. But what the cool thing about the display, this is a local artist, a buddy of mine, Travis Luther. He makes these uh, really awesome looking rod holders. This is a tarp and he has bonefish permit, uh, even some freshwater species. But uh, I love these tarp and tarp are one of my favorite fish to catch on fly. So I thought it was only fitting. So we went ahead and went with the tarp and pattern. Um, also, a great place to hang my extra push pole up here. This is my skiff. This is my Bella Rose, as I name her. This is a skiff I've been guiding out of my entire career. This is a 19 year old skiff built back in 2003. It's a Hell's Bay Whip Ray Professional 17.8. Woo, that's long winded to say it all. But uh, great boat. This is a do all boat for me, especially being a shallow water guide. Uh, caught a lot of fish, a lot of great memories out of this skiff. Uh, it's a classic, never get rid of it, and I'm gonna run it till the wheels fall off. You know, when, when I first started my career, it was like, loved the push pull, had no trolling motor, no electronics. But like I said, as you get older, you kind of start slowing down a little bit and you start going using these things that are going to help you catch more fish. And Humberbird definitely helps catch a lot of fish with that side scan technology. I'm going to open up here and just show you kind of what I have in my skiff. Um, a lot of stuff just thrown in here. I try to keep it simple and light. I uh, have a bucket, utility bucket, basically remote controls, a little gulp, some Repel, cutter, you know, those bugs get bad here in Florida. And also, as I'm fishing throughout the day, I like to throw my excess hooks, weights, flies in here, take this out at the end of the day, put it on my cart, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit, and kind of reorganize things. Uh, always got to have some extra buffs in here, got to protect yourself from the sun. Uh, if I decide not to be uh, lazy, got my pulling gloves, you know, keep them hands nice and smooth, some sun gloves, and, uh, Oh yeah, can never go wrong. Can't leave the house with it without some sunglasses. Uh, let's see what I got in here. So I carry an array of sunglasses. Uh, you know, if you're not sure, you know, Kosa offers different lenses for different lighting conditions. So early morning stuff, I like to use a sunrise silver mirror, great for low light. I also love to use it for duck hunting. And then, but my go-to is actually what I'm wearing around my neck is the Diego, it's just a, this is a silver copper mirror and uh, great frames. Got these little pockets here on the side, let it some air. And what I love about these though, more than anything, I have to wear prescription. These are prescription lenses and uh, they just fit just right. Not really thick and bulky. Uh, you know, can't fish without them. These, these are great, great lenses, great frames. Diego's right here. And then I got a set of others. Most, most of my lenses are gonna be the on the copper side because I do all inshore. So I don't have a lot of blues or grays in here, but I bring some extras for my clients. Sometimes they show up without glasses and we're doing some sight fishing. I want to make sure they can see what I can see and make life easier on everybody. And uh, other than that, just a little quick toolbox is just scissors, hooks, jigs, bunch of plastics, basically everything you need to catch redfish, trout and flounder. But that's the skiff. Let's move on to the rest of the garage. This thing here is pretty cool. What I like about this, this is a nice little moving utility cart get it at Harbor Freight or something like that for a couple of bucks. And I keep everything I need to work on my skiff right here. It, I don't have to keep going back and forth with my toolbox. I bring this right to the skiff here. If I'm gonna work on the motor, if I'm gonna sit there and you know hit all the grease points, if I got electrical issues with the trailer, if I got electrical issues with my skiff, it's all right here. Let me turn that around so you guys can see this. So I keep extra lures. At the end, you know, when I come home from a charter, I like to empty out my pockets, first thing. So everything goes right here. This is like an organized mess. And uh, pick through, see what needs to be clean, what needs to be sharpened, what needs to be replaced. Uh, open up here, I got extra tackle boxes if I need to fill up a new tackle box. I got extra remote controls. 
A lot of extras, a lot of stuff to fix my skiff with is all right here. It's all self-contained. I got all this electrical stuff. You know, we know as boaters, salt water and electrical don't mix, so we're always having to change out um, fittings and fix this and cut that and I have all the uh, tools necessary to get that job done here. Keep all my uh, lubes down here, whether it's for grease for the bearings, WD-40, silicone spray, corrosion guard, you name it, it's down here. Really easy, put it all in one place, bring it to the skiff, work on it, pull it back. It's all about being organized. And then here's my pastime shelving area. This is my favorite pastime is hunting, uh, whether it's deer, or hog, but my absolute favorite, absolute favorite is duck hunting. Love to travel to Canada, go to Tennessee, uh, Arkansas, all the good places. And this is where I keep my waders, I keep my own, not all, I'm gonna say probably a tenth of my decoys, uh, as I got them, I got hundreds of decoys. Uh, all these little totes right here, they just have all my hunting gear, whether it's seats, vest, uh, socks, clothing, you name it, it's all in here. So this is it, this is my garage. Now, let's take a ride. 30 seconds away, I got a restaurant. We serve some of the best barbecue in the state of Florida called Captain's Barbecue. Come out, check it out with me, come on. This is my other office. This is Captain's Barbecue located in Bings Landed in Palm Coast. We're known as one of the best barbecue joints. We've been voted top 10 joints in the nation. Uh, some are specials, I mean, my, my love of barbecue comes off from ribs, and that's my specialty is ribs. So come on in, let me show you around the place. So this is one of the three smokers we have here on the property. These are some Langs, great smokers made out of Georgia. Let's see what we got cooking in here. Oh yeah, we got some rat brisket up right now. Uh, can't see the bark on them or anything because it's all nice and wrapped up, but these are almost done. I'm sure they probably got only a couple more hours to go. So we're checking up here on our smoker. This is a big girl right here. This is, does the bulk of the work here for the restaurant. Another Lang. Thank you, sir. This is our pit master, Henry. And uh, we got some nice burn ends going on right here. We got some baked beans, but here they are. Look at these ribs. Oh boy, look at that. Look at that color. Look at that juice. Still got a couple more hours on these, probably another hour, hour and a half. We're eating good. Yep, that's the ribs. Well, you guys saw my garage, your Costa Gear Garage. Now you get to see my restaurant. My name's Chris Herrera. I'm over here at Palm Coast. This is Captain's Barbecue. We'll see you later.